Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is a question uh, sent by Shubhangi Sharma. She sent it uh, to my uh, mail ID. So um, this is her doubt. Five coins are tossed simultaneously. The probability that at least one hit turning up is up to three decimal place. Her answer was 0 0.2. And the correct answer was 0 0.968. Okay, so this is a very, very easy question. It's all about the basic uh, understanding of the question. Basic, uh, um, if you have uh, a clear base of probability, then you can easily solve this type of questions. Okay, so uh, first of all, you need to understand the question. Here, five. Co we have five coins which are tossed simultaneously okay so there are five points one two three four and five okay so five points are tossed simultaneously so what can happen all these coins can have two options either head or tail right for this coin either head or tail for this coin also either head or tail for this coin also either head or tail this coin also either head or tail okay so for each of these five points, we have two possibilities. Either outcome of head or outcome of tail. Now, since these five points are tossed simultaneously, so we need to understand if these heads or tails or one head or two head or uh, one tail or two tail or more than that are coming simultaneously or of uh, in which um, in which order okay that is one possibility is there that all the coins are showing head that is H H H H H right or there is another possibility that all the coins are showing tail right or it can happen that one of the coins one of the five coins are showing head or two can show head or three coins can show head and four coins can show head right now see here when there is one H that is one head turning up you cannot say that this coin is the head or this coin or this coin or this coin or this coin. It can be any coin out of this five. So there can be there can be there can be five possibilities for this option to be one head. Right? But see. Here, only one possibility for getting all the coins head. Getting head in the all the coins. There is only one possibility. And there is only one possibility to getting all the coins tail. Tail in the, uh, uh, tail in all the coins. Only one possibility. See, when there are two heads, 
there can be more than two possibilities in fact more than five possibilities for this why because it can place uh, like this uh, that is uh, it can place like h h t t t or h t h t t or t h t h t or uh, t h h t t and many other possibilities right because we are taking two heads at a time two heads see all these options have two heads at a time right so if you calculate like this that uh, how many uh, heads are coming out then you can't uh, complete this sum actually this sum is not at all um, difficult or complicated it is very easy very easy first of all you need to know first of all read the question what the question asked the question asks the probability that at least one head turning up one head turning up right so what is the probability that no head turning up this right this only one possibility only in one case there is no head turning up no head is turning up in only one case because in t t t t t that is when uh, tail is uh, showing in all the coins then only no head is turning up right and in all other cases you have at least at least at least one head turning up at least one head turning up right so you need to count the number of times that at least one head turning up so if you uh, if you count if you subtract the total number of outcomes total number of outcomes total number of outcomes minus this thing that is no head or uh, i can say number of times when no head is turning up right so this is equal to the number of number of cases or number of times as you say number of cases when at least one head turning up right so number of cases when at least one head turning up is equal to total number of outcomes minus number of times when no head is turning up now what is the total number of outcomes the total number of outcomes i uh, discussed is uh, it previously also so total number of outcomes is 2 to the power n where n is the number of times the coins are tossed okay so here five coins are tossed so here we have total number of outcomes so the total number of outcomes is equal to to the power n where n is the number of times the coins are tossed that is uh, 2 to the power 5 because 
five coins are tossed five coins are tossed simultaneously okay so 2 to the power 5 that is equal 32 right 2 to the power 5 equal 32 so the total number of outcomes is 32 and the number of times when head is turning up that is only one only one right the number of times when no head is turning up no head is turning up that is only one so it is 32 it is equal 32 minus 1 that is equal 31 okay so number of cases when at least one head is turning up that is all the cases except one all the cases except one case when number of cases uh, when at least one head is turning up so in 31 cases out of 32 cases in 31 cases at least one head is turning up okay so now we need to we need to find the probability now how to uh, find the probability so probability probability is equal number of favorable outcome outcomes divided by number of total outcomes Okay, number of favorable outcome is we have found to be 31, right? 31 because in 31 cases, we are getting at least one head. At least one head in 31 cases. In 31 cases, we are getting at least one head. So, 31 divided by number of total outcomes. As we found that number of total outcomes is 2 to the power n. That is 2 to the power 5 or 32. So probability of finding uh, uh, probability of uh, probability that at least one head is turning up is 31 by 32. And if you divide 32 by um, 31 by the 32, if you uh, divide 31 by 32, you will get 0. Point, the answer as 0. 0.96875. And you need it to be correct up to up to three decimal places. up to three decimal places so up to three decimal places that means up to this 0 0.968 not 8 actually after that it is 7 that is more than 5 so it would be 969 it should be 969 so let's see the answer now it is 0 0.968 okay so if you have uh, answer if you uh, mark answer like 0 0.968 or 969, it's all right. But the answer is not 0 0.2, it's 0 0.968 or 969. I hope, uh, Shubhangi, your doubt is clear now. It was your doubt and I hope uh, your doubt is clear now. And if you have any further uh, doubt or any, um, uh, if uh, any one of you have any other doubts, you can send me in my email ID as uh, it is, I hope you know, it is fizzjam at the rate gmail Com. You can send me your doubt here 
and I'll try to solve your doubt and upload it as fast as I can. Okay, so right now it's all. Bye-bye.